Hi, so we're going to go over a few more binders. I've decided to keep the collection completely intact. Obviously, I need to dust it a little bit because, uh, yeah, it needs to be dusted. Uh, this is a complete collection, uh, two of most of the cards. Um, it's pretty cool what this is. I'm trying not to hopefully damage some of the card. Would be good. Okay, I think that does it. So there's two of every card in um, Tempest. So this is the complete collection of Tempest, one of my favorite sets. Greven uh, Evek was one of my first rares when I got back into Magic. I think, you know, I quit Magic maybe five or six times. Um, so I'm, it is missing cards, like Living Dead. Um, clearly it's missing a Sacrimonious. Um, it does. There's probably something kind of valuable here that's missing, but it has Intuition, which is a great card, fantastic card. It has Meditate, another stellar card. I think I will go ahead and leave the more valuable cards, but given how a uh, time warp, given how long and how great condition these cards are, I'm not too worried about not sleeving them. So I don't know, um, Earthcraft is good. Lord of Leaves, right? Tempest. Tempest is a huge set. I did not realize. Reap. I did not realize how big of a set. Root Maze, Recycle. Lots of reserve list cards. Apocalypse, uh, Reflecting Pool. I mean, it's the whole set of Tempest. Uh, Wasteland. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of a different one. There's something missing here, or maybe it's just an empty spot. As soon as I realized these are actual, this is two complete sets of this, minus some of the cards that were sold on eBay, which is unfortunate, but I guess that's how you, I mean, I would have paid to keep them together had I known. But the guy's been selling on eBay for a few months now, so I think it would have been easier to sell them as a set. All right, let's uh, continue on with the things. Again, we're not gonna play the pricing game. Just assume that I have one in Snailing Braids. This is Stronghold, Horn of Greed. I'm missing a Mox Diamond. I have one Mox Diamond, but I'm missing the second Mox Diamond. <laughs> Sword of the Chosen, I do remember that one. Oh, Grave Pack at the, uh... let me try to angle this a little. Grave Pack. There's two grave packs, which is good. Yeah, Tempest, I guess, was... Oh, Intruder's Alarm with Earthcraft. Yes, of course, that's a good one. Um, these, these cards are so good condition, and I don't think it's been touched in decades. And to have complete sets of very close... Stronghold. There's two of them. So, yeah, there you go. So Diamond, Stronghold, anything else that's valuable in this set? I don't even want to sleeve them up to be quite honest because I feel like they've been taken so well care of uh, in these binders and as long as like no one's touching them, I think they'll be fine. All right, there's a few bigger binders I'm not going to go over because it's kind of... Ooh, Visions, guys. Uh, I do need to clean this up a lot. Uh, Visions, obviously, you're looking for Vampiric Tutors as the, yep, you got one, you got two. There you go, that's Visions for you. Uh, hopefully this is a complete set of Visions. I don't think there's too many valuable cards in Visions. City of Solitude. Ooh, that's been a long time since I've seen City of Solitude. Yeah, Natural Order, which I actually have an extra copy of that, just randomly. Uh, yeah, uh, anything in red? Red, as i gone through all of this stuff, because I this isn't the first time I've gone through I realize red has been the worst color of all the type of valuable cards that you would be looking for. White wasn't too good either, but... Multi-color, generally better. Squander resources, and I don't know if there's any artifacts here worth money. Helm of Awakening, I found a few extra copies of that. Oh, Puzzle Box! 
Uh, and there's two copies of Puzzle Box, correct. And um, Griffin Canyon, Undiscovered Paradise, used to be a really good card. Um, wow, that is a, that's two complete sets of Visions, including. So what is fascinating, the ones that, the sets that are not valuable are all intact. The sets that are, oh, jeez. You know what this is? This is unglued. This is a set of unglued, isn't it? It is. BFM. This is a set. Oh, and then the reverse BFMs. Okay, because they, this is a set of unglued. Whoa. Holy moly. Hmm. Can I move this? Nope, that's not going to work. All right, that's the best I can give you without the glare. We can still get some glare. Just assume this is a whole set of unglued. Um, and I did look, it has tokens and it has um, a few lands. Not like an insane amount of lands, but nonetheless a few lands. And it does have all the tokens available to it as well. So that is a set of unglued. The guy just, I mean, it's from this collection, I can just tell that he really loved it. I'll show you some uncommons that I found too, but I'm just going to. So this is the bigger binder. I'm not going to go through it. It is 5th edition. Uh, I believe this is 5th edition. Is this 5th edition? Oh, it's not complete. Huh. I think I can complete this. Yeah, I don't know if, is this 5th edition? Yeah. I don't think there's too much in 5th edition that is quite valuable. I mean, I saw a... 5th edition, huh, what is valuable in 5th edition? Oh, I mean, you got, you got the lands. You got the power plants, which I found a bunch of. Is this all 5th edition? Seems to be. Yep. Oh my, look how big 5th edition was, holy moly. Oh, there's the Shivering Dragon 5th edition, so not quite as valuable as Unlimited or Basically, unlimited is very valuable. All right, there's two more binders left, and then I'll show you some of the other cool stuff. Um, it's a lot. All right, I think this is one of the core editions too. Oh, this is Chronicles, maybe? This looks dirty. Um, no, this is a random binder of who knows what is in here. Revised. Yeah, this is actually kind of more fun. Uh, because you, here I can pick it apart because this, it's not organized. There's a lot of cards in like these. So if you hit like a valuable one, I'm guessing there's going to be like a whole bunch the way that like these card, uh, pages feel right now. Shrieking Derek. Oh, Stormcrow. He was a collector of the Stormcrow, as you can see. I don't think these are valuable at all. Um, but at the same time, I do like looking through bulk. It is fun. Oh, Mystic Remora. That's a good one. And there's a playset. So that is going to go somewhere. That one will definitely have some type of value to it. I think he knows, like, he basically knows what he's doing, but then sometimes he does not. Prosperity. I think that card is worth each player draw. I, I don't know if Prosperity is worth money. Pot Potent is worth like a dollar or two. First Spike is probably a dollar or two. Counterspell is, well, I mean, that's a lot of Counterspell, so I'll just take them out because Counterspell is always worth a dollar or two. All right, there are um, six Counterspells in there, different types. Spell Blast. Oh, Brainstorm is good. Uh, so I'll take the brain. That's a lot of brainstorms. Although people don't play Legacy anymore, so it's unfortunate they're not going to be see any play. Uh, Impost is good. But I don't know if Impost is any money. A lot of these cards used to be money. Mm, no, I don't recognize. Red, the worst color. I mean, red... I, I, what am I expecting to get out of red here? Probably not very much. Oh, I, I used to play this dude all the time. It's one of my favorite cards. 
I mean, are there any goblins that are Ice Age? Urza Saga is when goblins started becoming good. Lackey. And the bots. I think these are just commons. Oh, Gorilla Shaman. That card is played in, I believe, Popper or something. I know that, oh, there's a playset of that type. And a playset of, oh, no. But, I mean, there's two more. There's two playsets of Grail Shamans. So, I mean, you're going to find a few dollars. It's not $1,500 of things, of course. But you're going to find a few dollars here and there from uh, this type of stuff. So I paid about $1,500. Uh, I'm going to show you two more binders. One of the binders has cards that are pretty good. You know, but it's also one of these random binders. Actually, no, I have three more binders. I don't know if this video is going to last that long. Nope, I already showed you that binder. I do not know why I showed it to you again. All right, this one is third edition out of print, whatever that means. Okay. It's not even the right way. Oh, this is uh, not good. <laughs> oh, geez. What is this? This is not... Does it have a little sticker on it? This doesn't seem to be very valuable. Maybe this is not the right binder. I think this is 5th edition or something. Oh, strip mine. Oh, Mises Factory. How many? Please give me... Oh, two. Okay, so maybe he was building... Oh, okay, if he was building two and two, I don't want to destroy it. But this looks too small to be a... I mean, I don't... This set looks kind of small. Fourth edition. Revised. This is where the things are good. Um, obviously, there's Fast Bond. Are these just the rares? No, it can't be. I see Earthbound. There's a playset of Fast Bonds. So that will help me with the 1500, I guess. Uh, sledge Tro, I'm not sure if it's... Whoa, holy blank, there's a ton of Sledge Trolls. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, um, this. so I knew about this. Uh, copy Artifacts. And Demonics, Soul Rings, and of course the Wheel of Fortunes. So the very last binder, and then we're done, will be uh, this binder, which I... Oh, it's Chronicles. I think this is a full set of Chronicles. I would be surprised if it was not a full set. Yeah. Close. Eater of the Dead. Is that valuable? Why did he take that out? Eater of the Dead. I'm not sure what that is. Because um, he actually has two copies of it. It just flipped. I'll figure out that out later. The Dark. Obviously, you have Blood Moon. I think that's it. Oh, Preacher. Uh, maze of if you have one two maze of ifs two free preachers a bunch of chain light uh, ball lightnings which are pricey and two blood moons that's it guys um 1500 bucks hi guys